Fixers, it's me, MJ, at iFixit, and it is officially summertime, though you wouldn't really know it because it's been busier than ever here at the office. As I'm sure you already know, Apple released an updated MacBook Pro with a Retina display, another updated MacBook Pro with a regular old display, and an updated MacBook Air. So we had three different computers and the Retina display on our teardown operating table. In case you haven't already checked out the teardowns, we'll go ahead and link to them down in the description. But for now, I'm going to give you the super distilled version of the story that has been dominating the conversations here at the office. The MacBook Pro with Retina display, while skinnier and lighter and more gorgeous than any MacBook Pro to date, is also the least repairable Mac to hit the market. It scored just 1 out of 10 for repairability, and that's the lowest repairability score we've ever awarded. The RAM is soldered to the logic board, the battery is glued down, and basically nothing is replaceable. With the Retina MacBook Pro, it really comes down to whether or not we as consumers say it's okay to continue producing devices that are not only not upgradable, but are unrepairable. Kyle, our CEO, wrote a great post about it for Wired, which we'll also link to down in the description. This is more than me wanting to add RAM to my computer or wanting to replace its battery. This is about the life cycle of electronics. In a time when everything from disposable plastic shopping bags to fast fashion retailers are being reconsidered because of their negative impact on the world, consumers need to take a good hard look at companies like Apple and decide whether it's worth sacrificing the value of sustainability on the altar of 18-month product cycles. As an Apple fan myself, it's hard to set my fandom aside and really consider the implications of Apple's design choices. But as mature, thoughtful adults, it's what we need to do. Some folks have been critical of our assessment, being that we do sell parts and tools for repair. But here's the thing. Our part and tool store is a means to an end. It's what enables us to power our mission of teaching everyone to repair everything and to keep gadgets useful for as long as possible. Speaking of which, that is another thing that's been keeping us extra busy around here. We also launched three new products to our store and posted a 2011 iMac dual hard drive upgrade video. The products we launched are the Universal USB Charging Cable, which I love, the Universal Drive Adapter, and the SATA Wonder Cable, all of which will be linked down in the description. We generally don't post our product videos here on the YouTube channel, so if you want to see those products in action, you can watch the videos that we posted on the product pages. That about wraps us up for what we've been doing here for the past couple of weeks, and as it is officially summertime, I do want to encourage you to get started on any repair projects you might have been putting off. To push you in the right direction, go ahead and use the coupon code FIXYOURSUMMER to save $5 in our parts and tools store. All I ask in return is that when you do get around to fixing your thing, that you let me know about it. You can send me your repair stories and photos to askifixit at ifixit.com. For all the latest teardowns and repair videos, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit or like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.